Hello everyone, my name is Troy and welcome to just a regular vlog on this happy Easter and also April Fools. Now this is definitely not an April Fools video. I actually have some news I want to talk to you about myself, but I am going to actually start off with the homebrew update stuff that I essentially have missed over the past two weeks, which I will also talk more about why here in a couple minutes. So, number one, well, first of all, everything is going to be about the Switch. The two or three things I have to talk about, I'm just going to be done really quickly for you guys. Number one is the Atmosphere Custom Firmware for the Nintendo Switch that is planned to try and be released in summer. Yes, for the, anyone who is on 4.1 and below will be able to have custom firmware hopefully sometime in the summer. We don't know the exact release date and honestly it could even be pushed after the summer due to technical difficulties we don't know but they are trying to plan during the summer. So you will be able to have custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch. Next thing I want to talk about was Team Executors, um, the mod chip that they have. There have been delays in it, but they are still working on it, and they have said it will be working on the newest firmware, which I think here right now the point is 5.0.1 or 0.2, I can't remember to be honest with you, but either way it will be working on that firmware, so that is awesome. And also, um, Yellow's 8, he was a popular 3DS developer and whatnot, he released a little code snippet to where he could actually get the save files from your games and edit them that way. I don't know if you can inject them that way or not either, but right now you, I know you can grab them and edit them and things like that. Those are the three things I want to talk to you about now as to why I have been missing some of the homebrew update videos. So, a little kind of story and the behind the scenes thing. Back in December of 2017, the very end of December, I actually woke up in a pain and due to my eyes. So, I have, I've been diagnosed with high eye pressure or high pressure in the eye. Um, it is very early stages of glaucoma. Well, due to that, I had to actually get a second job so that I can pay for all my bills and everything like that. Yes, I do have insurance, but unfortunately, it still doesn't cover everything I need. So I need to get a second job. And also because the job I first had kind of, they had to close down a store or not really close down a store. They closed down a store and it gave less hours to me. So I had to get a second job for that. So guys, currently right now I am working six days a week and about three of those days are 12 hour days. It sucks, but I have to do it just to keep the bills to go away. So that is kind of going on what's going on with me. Um, like I said, I'm working six days a week and unfortunately one of those days are Saturdays. So obviously that was when I upload the homebrew update videos. Now I have a feeling I'm gonna have to start uploading them on Sundays. Currently, I have Sundays off. I don't know if it will be like that in the long run. I have no clue what's gonna happen. I only have done one week so far at both my jobs. So, I will still upload when I can. I will not guarantee a video every week or a video every week. I will upload when I can. I will keep track of all the new homebrew stuff that is coming out. That way you guys won't miss on it when I do make a video, but as far as when they come up, I, I don't know. Um, currently, like I said, it will seem like it will be on Sundays. Right now is a Sunday, obviously, since it was April 1st and the very beginning of this video. But yes, guys, that is kind of what's going on with me. This, this whole year for me has been stressful and honestly, Everything I've been going through to me just seems like a lot. I've been up on my plate. It's stuff that I've been wanting to, especially these videos. I really do enjoy making these videos, but unfortunately I don't make money from them, so I have to find money elsewhere, which then obviously takes time out of me making videos. So anyway, at this point I'm trembling on. So I will keep making videos when I can. And guys, I do thank you for all the support that you are giving me. I enjoy all the comments that you post on here, all the things that you are a question of me 
requesting of me trying to get done and things like that. I really do enjoy it. I do enjoy all 100 of you. So thank you so much. And guys, if you have any questions about my vision, I will be more than happy to answer them. And if I get enough of them, who knows, maybe I'll do a question and answer video. And who knows, maybe my YouTube channel will turn more into me answering questions about my vision, kind of trying to do things around it. Who knows? That would actually be very cool of, for me to do. I've been watching a lot of different visually impaired YouTubers and it's really cool to kind of see what's going on with them. So, because I know eventually in my life I will actually be completely blind, but it won't be anytime soon, I hope. I don't know, I hope it won't be anytime soon, but anyway guys, thank you for watching. See you next video.